YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Ron Real, aka Double R in the building. Man, we got a nice, nice pairing for you guys today. Today, we're gonna be drinking the Sazerac Straight Raw Whiskey, and we're gonna be pairing that with the Lost Calaveras 2019 edition by Crown Heads. You guys stay tuned. We got a real special treat for you guys. All right, real crew. Hey, got a good good pairing for you guys today. We're gonna be doing this Lost Calaveras 2019 edition by Crown Heads, which is based out of Nashville, Tennessee, which is down the street from me. So shout out to John Huber, shout out to Crown Heads, big fan of both the the person and the company. And we're gonna be doing that Sazerac Rye from Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is also one of my uh, favorite distilleries too. So. But before we get into breaking down the raw whiskey and the cigar, I also wanna tell you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the channel, hit that notification bell, that way you're notified anytime that I'm dropping content. Hey, it really, really means a lot to me. I love that you guys are watching the video, but I need the subscribers too, man. As soon as we get to 500, I'm gonna do a really, really big bundle cigar giveaway. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do 10 or 15 cigars, but as soon as we get to 500 subscribers, I'm gonna take all the list of names of all the people that are subscribed to the channel, throw them in an automated randomizer, and whoever I draw, that's who I'm gonna mail the cigars out to, man. So don't forget to subscribe to the video. I really, really appreciate you guys watching, but definitely subscribe to the channel. Now that we got that out the way, the cigar. It is a six inch body by a uh, 46 ring gauge. This is a very, very pretty cigar, man. It's very majestic. I like how the gold and the red play together. My favorite color is red and just gold looks really, really classy, especially when it's done on cigar bands. And as you guys know, Crown Heads, they do a really, really good job of just keeping things simple, how I like it, just simple and clean. I feel like it just goes a long way. They're not really trying to captivate you by throwing a really elaborate band at you. They're just like, hey, this is our band. We got a good product. We stand behind it, and that's all it is. I like the addition of that foot band, man. It just adds to the class of the look of the cigar. I would say almost like a milk chocolate colored cigar. It's It's got some toothiness to it, but not really extreme. Little triple cap. You can see the tight invisible seams on it. There's some veins present, but it's not, not a bad looking leaf at all. This is a really, really nice looking cigar. And it's regular production. They do a Lost Calaveras every year. I've smoked all of them from 2016, I wanna say all the way through. I really didn't care. That's like one of the few cigars by Crown Hits I'm not really a big fan of. But again, I like them, I support them so much. So when this came out and I saw this size, I jumped on top of it. I smoked a lot of these this year and I was a really, really big fan of this 46 ring gauge. The raw whiskey, man, very, very good budget or bargain product. You can find these for around $30. Some places might have it around $35, something like that. So if you like raw whiskey, man, just, just give it a shot. So we'll nose this a little bit since I've been letting this glass sit here for about 10 or 15 minutes. Some caramel there. There's like a saltiness quality to it. There's almost like a, and usually even in rye whiskeys, I always pick up like this deal note in a lot of them. Honey characteristic is popping out. A little floral too. It smells really, really good. It has a really nice nose. We're gonna just go ahead and take this foot band off and uh, cut this thing up and we'll smoke it. Really excited about this. I think that with this cigar, it has a really good creamy quality to it and it has good flavor. So I'm, I think this, this pairing will be very, very good. I haven't paired the two before together uh, until now, but looking at the characteristics of both the raw whiskey and the cigar, I think that they should work out really well. So we'll, we'll see what we got, man. So I'm gonna just cut this bad boy up and uh, we'll go from there. Hope everybody's having a good day out there today. I can't say it enough. Appreciate you guys for taking the time out to watch the uh, video and Hopefully as we're growing, man, you guys will continue to support and continue to um, share the videos and share the channel with people. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys are all enjoying the content, man. So I'm really enjoying doing this. It's, it doesn't feel like work at all. This is, this is what I do in my day-to-day -day life. I just decided one day to start a YouTube account, man, and, and just let people see what I do. So, cause that's what I do in my free time when I smoke cigars. I'm usually on the internet or looking at YouTube and just uh, typing videos as I as I smoke my cigar. I'll just watch through videos. It could be cigar related stuff. It could be bourbon related stuff. 
I watch a lot of comedy, you know, movie trailers, things like that. So hopefully I give you guys some good entertainment while you're enjoying your cigars or your bourbon or whatever you're drinking. Old school match. The draw is very good on this. It's not too tight or too loose. It's about about where I want my draws to be at. So I'm just, shouldn't have to battle with this. There's like an oak wood uh, characteristic to it. A little bit of a light leather. A lot of earth is coming in. Smoke is not very dense right now. It's, it's just really kind of, for lack of better words, kind of an oily smoke. It's just really light. So we'll see what we got. Taste a little bit of this rye whiskey and see what we got here. Yeah, that smells really good. Honey. There's a little bit of a pepper bite. It's not bad though. It's, it's, it's really good. It's a pepper on there. Floral notes are kind of coming out too. Finish is not real long. Yeah, this is very, very oily. Not really viscous at not really viscous at, viscous at all. It's not really coating the jawline or anything like that. I'm gonna show you a picture of these legs. I don't know how well that's showing up. This is a 43, this is a 43 alcohol by volume. And what's stated on the internet is that it's a six-year-old raw whiskey. To be honest, if I was just blind tasting this, I wouldn't think it was that old, but I'll take their word for it. So yeah, right now nothing's really nothing's really popping out the cigars. The cigar and the raw whiskey are kind of playing friends. Nobody's trying to take over right now. So I'm just gonna smoke through this first third, see what we got as far as flavor, see if anything's intensifying, see if there's any new flavors popping in. Right now, I don't detect any strength. I'm gonna go medium body, medium strength on the cigar. And as I told you guys a few seconds ago, the whiskey's really oily, it's not really viscous. It's, it's really light. The honey and the floral note has got a light characteristic. It's light flavors and light body. So. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll smoke through the rest of this first third and I'll let you guys know what I got. So y'all hang tight. All right, so what I forgot to mention in the beginning, this cigar has a, cause it's kind of a, I've never, I don't really see too many cigars with labeling this wrapper, but it has a um, Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper and it has binder and filler from Nicaragua. The cigar ran me $10.50, $10 which is retail. So, you know, it's a little, it's about, you know, gateway pricing for regular premium cigars. Flavor profile wise right now, I would say definitely more just like on the earth, but it has that earth side, but it has some wood qualities. It has like a nuttiness quality too. Pause. Um, <laughs> the retro hill offers, which is weird because when you're doing normal draws, I don't get it. But when I retro hill, the cedar is coming out crazy, which I like that, 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 that's gonna bring the points up as far as like complexity. There's that's that's kind of cool that I'm picking up the cedar and the retro hill. This raw whiskey, again, is still really oily and kind of thin. And I don't mean thin is is in a bad way. It's just the fin the finish is not really long and lingering like I normally like my spirits. But the cigars, woodiness and the other qualities of it are kind of helping it as far as taste profile. Normally with raw whiskeys, I seem to, for me, I taste more like a, a pepper bite, which it has there, but it's just very, very minimal. But other than that, this pairing's going pretty good. I'm only about 15 minutes in and I'm already, you know, it's a fast burner. So I like the draw that I feel like the draw is good, but obviously the blend is burning really, really fast, which I've mentioned before. You have to take, take note of it. This isn't a really big cigar. They classify it as a Corona Gorda. It's a six by 46. So. I probably will honestly get about 35, 40 minutes out of it if it keeps burning like this. And as you guys know, I'm not rushing or anything. I take my time and smoking. It's just the blend is burning really, really fast. So the ash is holding on nice. Probably getting ready to ash it now because I'm a hashtag team, no ash. That's ash, not ass. Yeah, I'll keep smoking through the second, third, and uh, I'll let you guys know what I, what I get as I get further in the cigar. Right now, I wouldn't say it's elite or very good. It works. Flavors aren't really being intensified. They're just, they're working together though. This is this is a good pairing, but it's not a great pairing or an elite pairing. So with that being said, man, y'all hang tight and I'll catch y'all in the second third. We're heading into the last third. Hey, I was a little, con I was kind of worried at first that it was just gonna be just good, but <clears throat> there's an intense chocolate flavor that just came in in the second third. And it's, it's crazy as hell that it sounds like this, but it's like a baker's chocolate and a wood are just bouncing back and forth. Almost almost within every draw, it's like it's different. Each one of them are taking turns leading. 
which is is really interesting so the flavors of these are des definitely intensified hey this is this is becoming a very very good pairing it's still not elite there's still no new flavors or anything being brought around but <clears throat> this is very very good it's, it's just and the caramel on the the raw whiskey is almost borderline toffee it's 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 it's, it's all it's got that creamy quality to it but it's it's still really light it's it's the honey is still coming off the nose this is really good this the both of these should score very very well barring a major setback i'll show you guys the burn line <clears throat> i haven't corrected anything on this at all it's been burning good again it's a it's a fast burner though if you're gonna buy the uh lost calaveras lc46 just be prepared that the blend burns very fast i'm probably about 30 minutes in and and i probably only got another 10 to 15 so this isn't going to be an hour hour and a half smoke this will be a 45 minute smoke depending on how you smoke i know some of you guys out there smoke fast so it may even be you know a little bit around the 30 minute mark depending on how fast you smoke but um yeah the chocolate and the oak are bouncing back and forth is 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 crazy so it's keeping you interested it's kind of making you think like is it going to keep doing it is it going to stop when is it going you know so the guessing game for me is cool i liked it other than that the, the draw has been good construction has been on point very very good pairing i'm i'm very satisfied with this lost calaveras is it something i probably would buy every day probably not because the flavor profile is not specifically what i would want to smoke every day but it's definitely a good cigar if somebody handed this to me or excuse me if i were looking for something you know a little different than what i normally smoke i definitely wouldn't have any problem at all picking this up i told you guys about the sazerac rye this is a good bottle at 30 35 dollars because again i like to drink most of my spirits neat including scotch rum uh and yeho tequilas things like that but if you want to put this in a mixed drink like a manhattan sazeracs or things like that 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 would be fine if you want to put it on ice that would be fine this is one of those bottles that's not going to offend anybody if you decide to make a cocktail or something with it you would get certain bottles like pappy van winkle antique collection some of those higher end bottles it's kind of looked down upon on if you if you don't drink it neat or with a little water or just maybe one ice cube so but this touches all it covers all the boxes as far as a good bottle to drink i highly would recommend this if you've never had it before i think you'll be a huge fan of it because it offers a good change of pace the price is good again the only thing is i would knock it on i wish that it was a little more viscous it's just a thicker mouthfeel i like that that coating that you get when you get certain uh spirits like scotches and bourbons and stuff like that it's just a little thin for me and the complexity is is hurting it a little bit too same with the cigar the complexity is 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 cool but the strength is not really there. I would definitely rate this a medium body, medium strength cigar pretty much all the way through. I don't really see this changing, but of course, I still have another third. So you guys know I'll be back in a few minutes and let you guys know what I get from that. Hey, so that's my update from the second third. Y'all hang tight and I'll let y'all know at the end of the cigar what I rate it, what I think about it. So it is what it is. All right, so I'm well into the last third of this cigar. Probably got about another 10 minutes, about another 10 minutes or so. It's not burning hot on me. It's not, the flavors are still pretty good. The flavors of the second third are pretty much the same in the back third. Uh, so I'll go ahead and score it. Again, the construction on this has been perfect. The draw has been good. If you are a big Crown Heads fan and you haven't tried this, get out to your local tobacco store or go online, order one of these. They have a couple of different size Vitolas. I've had them all. I've enjoyed them all from 2019. The Sazerac Straight Rye Whiskey, same thing. Great bargain bottle. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you trying both of these together, separately, whatever you want to do. Uh, for the cigar, I'm going to go, I'm going to give this a solid 86 out of 100, 8.6 out of 10, whichever way you want to score it. Very, very good. The only thing I'm going to knock it on is the strength and uh, how fast the blend burned it. I wish, I, I mean, it's just been completely medium, uh, medium strength, medium to full body. You know, the flavors are kind of, right there in that medium to full range but there's there's really been no strength i like a little strength in my cigars and the blend is just burning really really fast which is not fast as in like man i, I didn't get to enjoy it because i am i just wish that it lasted longer as far as the sazerac straight rye whiskey i probably would give it a score of a 83 or 8.83 out of 100 or 8.3 out of 10. very good flavors but it's just a little thin on the palate for me it's just really oily 
I wish it was a little more viscous and the finish is just almost non-existent. It's almost as soon as you, you finish drinking, it's just gone. I wish that finish would last a little bit longer. So all in all, a very, very good pairing, not elite. Uh, in the second third definitely was the highlight of this pairing. That's when things were intense. Now it just kind of died back down. That chocolate is still there, but it's died down a little bit. So with that being said, man, I appreciate you guys again for watching the content. I hope that you guys are continuously watching all my other videos and enjoying what you're seeing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, pass the word on. When I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a really, really big bundle cigar giveaway. I'm going to have a lot of good cigars in there, guys. A lot, a lot of good cigars. I'll even throw a couple of TAA blends in there just because I know that everybody won't be able to get a chance to get some of these cigars. So I'm going to be doing some really, really good giveaways. Got a lot of things planned for the future. So with that being said, very, very good pairing. I'm enjoying myself. No complaints on my end. Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next one, y'all. Stay tuned and don't forget the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. We'll catch y'all later.